Thank you so much for being here. Let's talk housing. Um, often, in fact, I'd say usually the housing market is kind of the big swing industry in the economy. In recessions, you cut interest rates and that leads more people to buy homes, developers cut ground, uh, building trades higher up to engage in all of that. The people who buy the homes go into the local Lowe's and buy furniture or whatever, and it usually has a materially stimulative effect on the economy. Uh, not this time, uh, certainly compared to the past. Housing starts are now the same they were at the depth of the 2001 recession. And in fact, they're near where they were at the bottom of the great savings and loan crises about a quarter of a century ago. So my question, Chair, is as you raise rates, do you worry about choking off an already weak housing recovery? Or do you think housing is just less sensitive to interest rates than it was pre-bubble? Well, I think there is still sensitivity there of housing to interest rates. And of course, this was a very different cycle in which it was housing-related problems that were part and parcel of the crisis. And so when we cut rates, um, we didn't get the usual response that you would have of housing quickly responding positively to the rate cut. So as I mentioned in my testimony, um, higher interest rates and mortgage rates have gone up some over the last several months, um, may play a retarding role in um, restricting the recovery of housing. But the other positive side of it is we've got em good employment growth, income growth, um, consumer spending is solid, house prices have been rising, and all of those are positives. So on balance, we've seen a very slow but continued recovery in housing, and I would expect that to continue even in a context of somewhat rising mortgage rates, and they are very low by historic standards. So you mentioned wages in passing. I, I will mention before I ask my next question, wages have ticked up in growth, but only to about 2.5%. The last recovery, they were at 4%. I think America's still wanting to know when they're going to get a raise, but that's not my question. Um, one of the things about the housing market that I find really confusing is that uh, prices seem to be rising in markets all over the country. Um, in many cities, they've even eclipsed where they were pre the bubble. Uh, the, the chair's uh, home state, uh, where frankly some would characterize land as infinite and home prices have historically always followed inflation. We're now seeing significant real increases. It used to be that markets would more quickly balance uh, supply with demand and now they seem to have sustained imbalances. Uh, prices keep rising. Uh, I'm privileged to chair a task force that's going to take a look at this more closely and I'm really interested in your uh, perspective. The basic question is why? Why we're seeing such weak home construction despite the fact that we have rising prices? Um, so that's been a surprise as well, why construction remains so weak with house prices. And the increasing. answer is? <laughs> um, we do have robust growth in multifamily. Um, Many young people, millennials, are uh, delaying buying homes, and I think that's impacted single-family construction. Um, we've seen very depressed pace of household formation. A remarkably large fraction of young people that continue to live with their families and even as the economy has recovered, household formation has remained quite depressed for reasons that are difficult to understand. You seem to be implying that they're, they want to be living in the basement as opposed to they're unable to get out of the basement. Well, we've seen that continue even as the job market is strengthened and um, unemployment rates have come way, way down. So it is historically low. From builders, we hear about 
um, shortage of workers, of skilled workers, and um, buildable uh, lots. Um, and there may be some supply, supply issues there as well. I yield back, Mr. Chair. Time of the gentleman has expired. The chair now recognizes the gentleman from